Hi guys, this is Jack. Back again to the Lossless Club design as uh, this was published at overunity.com uh, by, by Verpis. Uh, so just to remind you, in my push-pull driver, I don't use separate MOSFET drivers for uh, each of my MOSFET. Uh, instead, uh, I use an IR2110 uh, driver. Uh, for or, um, which doesn't have enable pins like that so uh, in my case I don't I don't use this uh, uh, connections uh, where Mr. Ver Verpis uh, used them uh, for extra protection uh, for uh, uh, for the MOSFETs as as uh, primaries I, I use the double double cable speaker wire 2.5 square millimeters and uh, that's all guys and just to show you the history of uh, again of uh, my drain signals uh, this is uh, the typical uh, oscillation and uh, ringing that happens uh, at the drain when uh, MOSFETs have no has no have no any protection at all or they have a dissipative snubber but designed uh, snubber which also is like uh, we don't have anything there and uh, the same ringing appears uh, here we have the result when uh, at my drains when I used dissipative snubber RCD okay not bad uh, nice fair, uh, fairly well squared squared pulse uh, at the drain the only uh, bad thing is uh, that I couldn't uh, eliminate this high voltage pulse which uh, was almost at uh, 240 volts and uh, at the same time my MOSFETs avalanche was at uh, 260 Okay, I could accept it, but uh, I didn't want. I wanted uh, to improve it. If I could uh, eliminate it by the use uh, of a lossless clamp, then uh, why not? And uh, here we are. So when uh, I finished uh, my build, the first scope shot that I took with my lossless clamp was, was that. Again, uh, we have a square pulse uh, at the drains but we have enough uh, noise uh, at my gate you see here and here uh, and here of course uh, my drains are better uh, in terms of uh, high voltage the maximum voltage here the peak is uh, at 140 volts accept acceptable uh, for my needs uh, but uh, those uh, uh, parasitics at the gate pulses were not uh, something that uh, I would like to have it uh, because I use this pulse at a, a later stage for synchronizing my Tesla coil and uh, I had to eliminate it so I followed the um, uh, advices of uh, Itsu and uh, Verpis and here we are, I make my cables shorter and uh, the main uh, change is this cable which takes the gate signal from here and drives the gate pin of my MOSFET and uh, instead of a, a simple uh, uninsulated cable I used a Cox cable uh, I tried to ground it from both sides as uh, it suggested uh, this is grounded here and I had already grounded uh, fr uh, from here to the source but uh, my parasitic oscillations became higher uh, so and so I disconnected from here so the Cox cable is grounded only at one side and uh, that's all that's all guys and the result is this uh, we have here better gate passes you see here 
uh, here is represented only the one gate but also the other gate is has exactly the same signal square pulse almost clear just a very small oscillation here uh, which is acceptable for me uh, I can use this pulse uh, to and drive my synchronization board at a later stage no problem at the same time my drains became with even less uh, high voltage peak from the parasitic oscillations maximum 100 volt more than acceptable for my needs but uh, also I wanted uh, to share with you uh, something more, something extra uh, which uh, will lead your drains to an almost perfect uh, square at least uh, this is what I experience uh, when I use my um, lossless clamp design in combination with dissipative snubber uh, yes uh, I have connected this back working at the same time with uh, my lossless clamp design it doesn't dissipate energy the same amounts of energy as before it's almost it's almost cool everything is cool uh, because now uh, the main power from the primary kickback returns back to the power supply through the lossless clamp and at the same time the rest of the parasitic oscillation that remains to drain is being absorbed by these uh, snubbers so let's open the device to see my drains okay what we see here uh, is uh, much better drains especially the yellow one is almost uh, square okay there are some um, some very small peaks at uh, the start of my blue MOSFET uh, drain signal I mean uh, but uh, I'm very happy about that uh, I mean uh, with this behavior so I will continue this way especially that uh, now I know that uh, my device doesn't cons consume uh, the same amount of uh, energy like before and uh, my MOSFETs are very well protected uh, this way so I will continue like this and uh, just uh, uh, to share, this is my push pull one uh, uh, regulator for each chip okay. the chalk that uh, drives uh, my primaries nothing special uh, the two pulses from TL494 goes here where through this switch I can select between one of uh, those two pulses and drive my synchronization board with where at the end I will drive a, a MOSFET to trigger my Tesla coil so pretty much this is it guys just uh, for the new guys that uh, want to see how uh, the double coil is being connected in the lossless clamp designs this is it this is the those are the two primaries and this is the, the output layout as a uh, uh, verpis insist and of course I have seen this uh, 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 through the experiments of uh, Ichu uh, the layout of the device has to be very careful short cables nothing in the air uh, I have a ground plane underneath my boards and I think that uh, now I have a push pull reliable enough to continue with uh, my experimentation with uh, Ruslan device so pretty much this is all guys 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.